sports fans. It is your old pal, ASMR Sports. I have some new chewing gum. This is uh, Orbit's Orbit Spearmint. So I'll be working on that the next few videos. This is um, the next episode of the continuing saga of flushing money down the fucking toilet. <laughs> also known as opening modern sports cards. Oh, I'm in a mood, you guys, because um, I was at, I was just taking um, a lot of the cards that I've been getting, you know, like the hits, quote unquote hits, out of a lot of the boxes that I've been opening lately, and just sort of looking up the values online, and uh, realizing that <clears throat> um, I have paid a lot of money for a bunch of crap. With a few exceptions, but for the most part, um, yeah, I, I'm start, I don't know, you know, I, I often, well, okay, not often, I sometimes wonder, um, you know, why do I, why do I buy unopened cards and open them because consist, you know, occasionally, I'm going to try really hard not to get worked up, um, because I feel like it makes for less valuable ASMR. <laughs> but I wonder why I'm compelled to buy and open, you know, new sports cards, modern sports cards. Um, considering the cost of this stuff, you know, and I, I think really it's, it's just sort of a gambling mentality and you know, you just always think, um, you know, the next hand you get might be the one that gets you a really good card and, you know, makes uh, up for a lot of losses elsewhere, but I don't know if that day is ever going to come. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. I've been thinking I might just um, spend a couple months not buying any un open stuff and buy just singles on uh, eBay because you know if I had done that for the past I don't know several months four or five months I'd probably have a pretty awesome collection of stuff um, but instead I, I have kind of a bunch of junk you know and a few things have value and I've sold them but not a lot um, definitely not even close to you know, like halfway break even, I think. Okay, so today we have um, a modern basketball product. This is, uh, I think, from last year. Um, gee whiz, can you say the fucking year? 2017-18, so that's from last year. Um, so let's see what I, I don't know what I paid for this. Um, Sometimes I make notes, sometimes I do not. Um, but this is similar to the, I opened a, I think I opened a product like this, um, yeah, um, that was in the football category. And that was absolute and complete garbage um, that I paid a lot of money for. So I have the sneaking suspicion that this will be the same. But who knows? All right. Um, find two autographs and one memorabilia card per box on average. So this is another kind of real, like, pretty high-end product. It'll have one pack of cards in it, like so. Um, and there's only six cards in this pack. So... Yeah, you're basically buying like one pack of cards for, I don't know what, 70 bucks or something, 60 bucks. And probably much more when 
this originally came out. It's funny, um, when I was a kid, you know, I never bought the, um, kind of, you know, uh, higher level products, like, um, upper deck, even base upper deck, I wouldn't buy it, because it was like, you know, a buck or two bucks a pack, and like Fleer Ultra, and, um, a lot of the premium stuff that came out in the early 90s, I had no interest in. I only wanted to buy, like, the low-end 50-cent packs, um, and for a very long time, the idea of spending, like, four or five bucks on a pack of sports cards seemed just absolutely insane to me, and this is, like, you know, three years ago I felt this way, <laughs> um, but at some point I just sort of started thinking of the price is, you know, only on a per box basis and, you know, a hundred bucks a box. I mean, you can get tops retail or hobby boxes for 60 bucks a box these days. Um, that's low end, but, um, you know, I don't know. Around the time I started get back in, getting back into modern cards, which was a couple of years ago, you know, boxes were about 100, 120 bucks, and I thought, well, you know, for two or two autographs or so, that's not a horrible deal. Um, and that is, you know, seven, eight, nine bucks a pack, depending on how many packs are in the box. So I don't know, I just got used to that, and I don't really think of much of spending 100 bucks on a box. Um, but, yeah, I don't know, I'm starting to, I'm, I'm feeling kind of down on, you know, buying all these, um, modern sports cards lately, I don't know why, you know, and it's not, um, I don't know, I, I guess, how do I say this, um, like, I, you know, I have plenty of money to, to buy this stuff, I'm not, like, um, suffering, you know, because I spend money on sports cards by any stretch. Um, but, uh, you know, still, I, wasting money is not what I like to do in life. Um, and I also sort of think, you know, a lot about um, how pricing and just the sort of nature of um, these products and how they work as kind of like gambling sorts of um, endeavors, you know, impacts collectors generally and like kids and their ability to afford stuff um, and participate in the hobby. And yeah, I don't feel great about the way the hobby sits today. So anyways, there's my rant. As you can see, we have like a, a variety of thicknesses. We've got, you know, a very thin card. We've got sort of a next level thickness. We've got a mega thick, and we've got then um, kind of a less thick, and then two like sort of thick. I guess they're as thick as this one over here. Um, so I don't know. Interesting. So we're only gonna get two autographs here. All right, there is Michael Kitgilchrist. Um, number to 165. Look at that, I have a freaking little fruit fly on me. Um, nothing special about this. Um, doesn't even seem to be a rookie. So, yeah, all right, well, I imagine all the cards will be numbered, so let's find out. Davies Caldwell Pope. That is uh, also numbered to 89. I don't know what the, I guess that's a, got a blue kind of border on it. This has a gray border. And that's to 165, so maybe that's the difference. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Based on thickness, we're going to, I don't know, not. Not have a, I don't think this next one's going to be a mirror, but the card might be an auto. It is backwards. Um, let's turn around off camera so we can do a reveal. Okay. All right. I did see that it is horizontally orientated. Okay, so we, um, we've seen two cards. We get six. We've got two autographs coming. One memorabilia. All right, here we go. Is this, this is, oh, interesting. So this is a memorabilia card. 
simple one color jersey card even of a even of a megastar like you know uh lebron james or um i don't know dwayne wade or whoever um you know is not going to be worth a whole lot because these you know single crap patch cards are just a dime a dozen um interestingly that is not the thickest card in the pack here so i thought the thickest card would be my one memorabilia and the thickest card is coming up next and so we'll see what that is it might be a memorabilia auto count dang it it's freaking um you know i'm gonna okay i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna orientate these so they're a little more um sane oh gosh Not depressed. 
impressed you too much and that you have enjoyed the ASMR characteristics of this video. Um, I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.